In 1997, a band signed a multi-million dollar record deal and looked to have the world at their feet. Success was theirs for the taking. What could possibly go wrong? Drugs, international terrorism and good old-fashioned bad luck got in the way the first time now, but the dub pistols kept on trucking. This is the story of Barry Ashworth and his merry band of Pistoleros. It's a story of rock and roll excess, of positive vibes, good music and downright disasters. I was naked, Barry was naked. Um, I, don't think, I really don't want to talk about that case, okay? Absolutely chaos, chaos, brilliant. Drugs, alcohol, smiles, laughs, crying. I didn't really want you to die. He was a bit too debaucherous for my sensibility. Not even too debaucherous, just too fucking reckless. Is that part of the effect? Is that no, it's not, we're gonna die. You said I ruined your life. I didn't. I didn't, mean, I didn't mean it, though, did I? No, <laughs> you couldn't have. You ruined my fucking life. We were in like a completely different kind of outfit, you know what I mean? Like, uh, we, we're, we're dickheads and stuff, but that was next level dickheadery. Along the way, they picked up some famous fans and rocked hundreds of festivals, with each gig having its own debauched tale to tell. And I, and I, and I tried to justify it, I think this is the story of every band. But then you realise it's, it's way worse. You know, rolling with the, with, the, with the pistols, it's such a high, it's such a high. You don't need drugs, but you do. But you don't! <laughs> you, you know what I mean? Through the ups and the downs, the chemical highs and the come down lows, the dubs built themselves back up into one of the biggest festival rocking bands around. With the dub pistols in the area, what could possibly go wrong? Here are the thrill seekers corrupt and immoral.